I'm always looking for our festival to tap into place. I mean, sheds are kind of a piece of iconic Australian architecture. You've got the tin roof, the steel, you know, they're pretty simple structures. You know, they're basic, they're not fancy, but they've done the job for hundreds of years now. And this particular project invites you to listen to, you know, the reverberations of what that space or place is. We've placed Acoustic Life of Sheds in Majuraba, so that's in the hinterland, a really pretty part of the Gold Coast. We've commissioned four musicians and we've invited them to have a one-week residency with the shed owners, the property owners. And the invitation is to research and learn more about that place and then write a piece of music connected to the shed, connected to the place and connected to the history of the place. If this shed had eyes, it would have seen. Secret rendezvous of secret lovers. Each concert's around 20 minutes, and so you leave one shed, you've got a five minute drive, and then you're at the next concert. The genesis of the project was really around looking at the social isolation of farmers. So I loved the idea of matching a musician um, and putting them in the home of a farmer or a farming family or a shed. I want to tell you a little story about this shed. It once housed a lot of chickens. So I thought, you know, the best place to begin was a, a chicken song. My old hands, a good old hand, she lays eggs for the railroad men. Sometimes eight, sometimes ten, that's enough for the railroad men. It's very kind of familiar to me, this, this like setting. I guess I grew up in the, you know, small kind of rural town. So uh, tin sheds was uh, a fixture. And they always kind of hold a certain magic. There's always an amount of stories, you know, in there. And yeah, I, I guess great songs and great uh, writing in general, it's all about details, you know, funny little details. And so I kind of was able to do a bit of research and just pick up a name here and there and a, and a little, little story. Gradually, all those little details kind of came together and uh, started to form themselves into, you know, more realised songs. There was two, two little uh, locomotives that used to haul the timber back down into Mudraba, and they were named Allison and Kathleen. And I thought, that's great. I'm going to write a song about Allison and Kathleen. Jimmy was a fireman. We have put our lives into this shed. It's our passion project, so it's to see it written so beautifully from the steel to the timber um, to the chicken wire was just amazing. It was amazing, yeah. <laughs> Just being here and, and the sound of, of the shed and, and the, you know, this, the whole atmosphere of the place is adding something very special, actually, to the sound, which is kind of exciting. We spent some time here and, and listened to the stories and we recorded on my iPhone <laughs> the sounds, the birds, the, the shed, and we incorporated that. Walk me through the leaves, dear, as the trickling brook flows by. Listen. I've always really enjoyed being given a, a space to uh, to do a site-specific performance. It, it's extra thrilling because you have to deal with what's going on. It's unpredictable and I love that part and I think it's the audience really enjoy it too.
especially with the bird calls that I do, often the birds sing back. Yeah, it's yeah, mind-blowing. Yeah. Christine did an amazing job at telling the story yeah, as we know, know it. Yeah, yeah, But yeah. using the sounds of, yeah, the area, getting the acoustic shed life on our property was pretty special and just opening it for everyone to see because it's really unique. Yeah, if you can share it with people, why not, you know? I love the fact that something like Acoustic Life of Sheds kind of intersects with the everyday and you need community buy-in for the art to happen. That's a match made in heaven because you build a relationship and um, you never know where that'll go in the future.